Hello! Welcome to Quickfire English and this edition of Crimes Against English, the most annoying mistakes that native speakers make. Now, in this video we're looking at the difference between for a while, with a space between the a ah and the while, and for a while, where a while is all one word. Now, the main difference here is that the former is grammatically correct and the latter not so much. But why is the second option wrong? Well, the word a while is an adverb. That means it describes a verb, and you can't just stick a preposition like for in front of it. Let's take an example. If you write, she read a while, this means the person read for a period of time. And we know that because the adverb a while modifies the verb read. So why can't we just throw the word for in here? Well, again, it's because a while is an adverb, and an adverb cannot usually be the object of a preposition. We can illustrate this by exchanging a while for other adverbs, like quietly or happily. Now, could you say, she read for quietly, or she read for happily? Well, nope, not without sounding like Yoda after a few pints, you can't. Now, what you can write is, she read for a while, where for, a, and while are three separate words, and all three words taken together basically act like an adverb and modify the verb. Now, the one word adverb a while and the three word phrase for a while have very similar meanings. In fact, the definition for the one word a while in the Merriam Webster dictionary is simply for a while. What that means is that if you write, she read for a while, where a while is only one word, that's basically like saying she read for for a while, which obviously makes zero sense, and this is why I make all the face palms every time I see it. Now, I'm probably fighting a losing battle here, because native speakers are increasingly using the grammatically incorrect option. You know, the one where a while is only one word and for has been tossed in there for no damn reason whatsoever. And I wouldn't even be surprised if you could find a style guide to pardon you this nonsensical sin. However, I reserve the right to hold on to my pointless anger on this subject a while. Now, if you got something out of this video, please do me a salt and hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Finally, let me know which questions you have about English and which topics you'd like to see a video about. To do that, simply leave your suggestions in the comments or hit me up by email. Okay, we are out. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video.